Hello everyone, it's Olumayewa Victor from IDPS Consult Netherlands. IDPS means I diagnose and profile solutions. Today we've got something very interesting for everyone. So are you a student, irrespective of what you study anywhere in the world, this video should be very interesting for you. That's because at one time you will be getting a job or moving from one job to the other or getting promotion at job moving from one department to the other. Or perhaps you're already an industry professional. This video should be interesting for you as well because you could be moving from one job to the other or you could be transiting positions within the same company. Lastly, if you're an entrepreneur, at one time or the other, you might be hiring someone to join your company. Therefore, this video is useful for you as well. This is because today we talk about the topic, effective onboarding process. Let me remind us that last week we talked about effective onboarding process. So this is a second series from a three series video. The first series was the first part where we talked about effective onboarding process. In this video, we will talk about effective reboarding process, and in the third part, we will talk about effective offboarding process. Before we continue to talk about effective reboarding process, I'd like to encourage you to click on the subscribe button right now. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stop what you're doing. Click on subscription button right now. Thank you. If you like this video after you have seen it, please feel free to click the like button on YouTube and please feel free to make the comments in the comment section on YouTube. Thank you very much. Let's go back to the topic, effective reboarding process. First of all, what is reboarding? I'd like to tell us that reboarding is the short form of re-onboarding. So last week we talked about onboarding. I'd like to remind us that before onboarding, we also have Pre-boarding. Pre-boarding is actually the time that the prospective potential employee receives the good news. You have been hired. They don't start yet, so they don't go to start yet, but they receive the news, you have been hired. From that time they receive the news, you have been hired, till the time they start, that is the pre-boarding moment. And then when they go to start on day one, that is the on-boarding moment. And you can find that in that previous video, effective onboarding process. But now when we talk about reboarding process, again, it's the short form for re-onboarding. So what is reboarding? It's actually all the activities involved in setting the employee up for success when they rejoin the company. Notice the word rejoin. So perhaps this employee already left the company and they are coming back to the company, then you have to create different activities that will set them up for success, and that's simply reboarding. So it's either they are rejoining, maybe you say, what if the employee did not leave the company? It could be that they get a promotion and they are moving from one role to the other, and all these activities that will help them to perform better in this new role within the same company is also known as reboarding. And why do we say effective reboarding? It simply means that reboarding that is done in the most right way. Now, let's look at some examples, examples where reboarding can take place. Take, for example, the office is re reopening after the COVID-19 lockdown. Now, of course, this is 2022, but I still talk, call it COVID-19 because it started in 2019. So the office has been locked down. A lot of offices were locked down for a year, for two years. The office is now reopening. The office, the HR, the human resource department of that business, of that organization, needs to organize reboarding activities for its employees. Yeah? To help those employees to set them up as they come back to rejoin the company, that they become successful, that they have improved performance. Another example of when reboarding can take place is when the employee is returning to work, perhaps after parental leave or after sabbatical leave. So they've gone for sabbatical leave, say two years, yeah, to, to get a new master's degree, or they've gone for parental leave uh, for like uh, maybe six months, and they are coming back to work, a re process has to be put in place for them uh, to perform better, to get, get acclimatized with the culture at work, uh, and uh, perform better at work. It could also be about boomerang employees. Who are boomerang employees? People who have worked for the organization in the past and they are coming back. 
uh, got a new job, left the company, went to this new company for five years or six years. Somehow there's a new offer. They are coming back to the same company. The HR department of that organization has to organize an effective reporting process for such employees as well. And lastly, it could be, like I said earlier, employees that transit uh, uh, to new roles within the same company. These employees as well, it could be promotion. It could be moving an employee from finance department uh, to uh, auditing department or from uh, marketing department to become the head of customer service. Such an employee needs to go through an effective reboarding processes. Maybe the question now is why? Why should employees go through an effective reboarding process? The answer is simple. It helps the employee to feel uh, welcome. Huh? So you have to show them that uh, we, we, you are rejoining the company or you're not rejoining the company, you're moving from one department to another. We have to say, we welcome you with open hands. Huh? So when there's an effective reboarding processes, you are saying to the employees, we welcome you warmly. We want to motivate you from the first day that you're coming back to our organization. With an effective reboarding processes, there's increased productivity because the employee becomes very familiar with the company's culture, with the company's structure, with the company quality management procedures and every uh, policies and, proced and all other procedures that, need, that they need to be familiar with. And therefore, uh, that boosts performance as increased productivity. Maybe the question again, why? Why should we reward employees? Eh? It increases emotional balance of the employees. With effective rewarding processes, the employees uh, become confident with self-management. They're able to manage their own time. They're able to manage the task allocated to them. With an effective rewarding processes, the employee again becomes self-aware of themselves. This will be my strengths. These are the areas that I need to improve on. I see an opportunity there for me. Oh, I need to stay away from this because these are threats. With an effective uh, 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 reboarding process, the employee, again, like I said, becomes confident, becomes uh, an employee that will give more productivity and they are more emotionally stable, and that is good for your organization. Lastly, let's talk about the differences between onboarding and reboarding. Because maybe somebody says, but hold on. I looked at the video of onboarding, it seems like it's repetitive. No, when we talk about onboarding, this is all the activities involved for employees joining the company newly from day one. They never worked for the organization before, onboarding. When we talk about reboarding, it's for somebody rejoining the company or somebody moving from one department to another or somebody moving from one role to another, for example, promotion. But when we talk about reboarding, reboarding does not have to be exhaustive. Remember, this uh, employee already knows about the company, they worked for the company before, or they are still working for the company, just want to change roles, move into a higher role. So reboarding is not usually exhaustive. Huh? So onboarding is more exhaustive than reboarding. But whether it's onboarding or reboarding, uh, uh, be assured that both are there to help uh, the employees uh, to speed up their game, right? to bring the employees up to speed. Reboarding is also what we can say is more targeted at an onboarding uh, process. So when we talk about reboarding, it's a more targeted onboarding process. And when you reboard employees, huh, you are helping them to touch base with the changed policies, with the changed procedures, with the new strategies involved in the organization. And that way they can perform their tasks better. Imagine a new employee, uh, a, a, an employee who's gone to work for another company and they are coming back and you tell them, oh, this is, these are the new policies, these are the new procedures, these are the new strategies. You help to bring that employee up to speed with an effective rewarding processes. Imagine that you are moving one employee from one department to the other, or it's a promotion, huh? and when you uh, uh, help them to go through an effective rewarding process, then you are helping them to know about the policies, procedures, and strategies of the new role or of the new department. So that was the short video on effective rewarding processes. Remember, this is the second of the series where we talk about effective onboarding processes, pre-boarding, onboarding. And now we talk about effective reboarding processes, and sometimes next week, there will be the last part where we will talk about 
effective off-body processes. Watch that video to find out what we mean by off-body. Yeah? Off Thank you very much. This is where it ends today. Please, if you think that there's something we can do better, go on YouTube, use the comment section. Let us know how we can serve you better. Remember, at IDPS Consult Netherlands, we exist to help you diagnose your business problems from the root causes and provide smart solutions. Also, maybe you say we want to contact you outside of YouTube. You can visit the website www.idpsconsults.com and send us an email at info at idpsconsults.com. We love to hear from you. We want to serve you better. You know that I will not go until I talk about my passion. And my passion is that Africa must develop. Therefore, I say, are you an African anywhere in the world or are you interested in Africa? Keep working together for a united Africa and for the development of the African continent. This is where it comes to an end today. Therefore, in English language, I say thank you very much. Dutch language from the Netherlands. Thank you all. Yoruba language from Lagos, Nigeria. Eshio. Bye.